And welcome back to Talking Football here on TalkingSports.tv at Charlie Fitzwhiskey's in Vaughan, Ontario. We've given you, courtesy of Uncle Ben from Uncle Ben's Football.com and Handsome Howard Kamen, their top selections for your NFL wagering this weekend. We now give you the added bonus as we are going to do each and every single week on Talking Football of Ben's <coughs> NCAA picks. And folks, this is a little different than NFL. I mean, people see that two teams are playing football and they think automatically it's the same kind of stuff. But Ben, I think it's fair to say that there's a, not only a difference between NFL wagering and NCAA football wagering, but a big difference. Well, there is a big difference, uh, Marty. You know, typically, coaching would be the number one thing. You know, a lot of these bigger schools, like the USC's and the Floridas and the Alabamas and you know the Notre Dames, the Michigans, Ohio State's, etc. These, these these programs, they don't rebuild like the Cleveland Browns are doing. <laughs> they reload. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it's a little easier <laughs> to you know. There's a little more of a consistent flow yes. to these programs. You know, they don't have the huge peaks and valleys like you might find in the NFL, although, although, because they recruit. although the Cleveland Browns would love to have a couple of peaks right now. But, yeah. the, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of valleys lately yes. for them. But anyhow, there are some differences. You know, the winners don't cover as much. The game winners, as we talked about in the NFL, cover 80% of the time, but not so much in college, okay? That, that rule does not apply at all in college, Marty. And uh, I've got a few selections here this week that, you know, I'd love to pass on to the people All right, let's, let's go with your, uh, your top pick. Well, the first, well, it's not my top pick because, like I say, I bet the same amount on every game, consistent dollar wagers. Good this point. way, when I, pick, when I pick more winners than losers, I don't have to worry that I've had so much on this game, All right. more on that let's game. Let's rephrase it. But these your are, first pick. These are, correct, sir. Here's a game now. Also, guys, you know, there's 50 to 60 games every week on the college slate. I'm looking for four or five games that I can, or six games maybe that I can give out. Not doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the Notre Dame Michigan game. It could be Louisiana Monroe and Baylor. Yes, that's what I'm talking about here. Louisiana Monroe and Baylor over 73 points. Now, let me tell you something. These two teams score more points and do more business than most funeral homes. I can tell you. <laughs> okay, the Wake Forest offense uh, last week they had a, they had a bit of a problem. Okay, uh, Wake Forest. Had a bit of a problem last week against Louisiana Monroe, but now Baylor, which has scored 60 points in their first two games. Last year they averaged, the last two seasons, excuse me, they've averaged 45 points per game, Baylor. This is the RG3 team, and last year they had Nick Florence, so these quarterbacks could put it up. Art Bryles has another offensive juggernaut down there, but I'll tell you that Monroe's quarterback, Colton Browning, he's no slouch either, actually. He's, he's pretty much the real deal. He might be in the NFL as well, so you got two very high-powered offenses here. I mean, let's face it, these, these offenses score more than Brad Pitt in a women's prison, okay? <laughs> so I'm saying this game's going to be in the high 80s or 90s. Louisiana Monroe and Baylor over 73. Sit back and watch this one. It's going to be a barn burner. Second game I have is more of a, of a national championship implication team. I've got the Stanford Cardinal playing at home to the Arizona State Sun Devils. And the Stanford Cardinal have national championship implications. I think they're fourth in the country right now. They opened the season at four, and they remain at four. Uh, yeah, they had a little trouble with Army last week, because that's because they were looking, looking ahead, and they got bigger fish to fry in conference, conference play. Um, Stanford's 5-0 and straight up and against the spread in their last five conference openers, and have a 6-2 and record uh, at home following a win of 14 or more points. Arizona State's facing Wisconsin last week, which I don't know if you people saw that game, but the refs basically botched the end of that game, okay? Wisconsin went to spike the ball with about 20 seconds left. Yes, I did see okay. that. It was a late they, game. It, it, the, the refs missed this play. And, and then the next thing you know, the, the, the clock the, ran out. And the field is bombarded and with people. people and it? they missed an opportunity to, to that have was, a game-winning field goal attempt. That was horrible. Attempt. So yeah. basically, this team that's now 2-0 is now is, is 2-0, should really be 1-1. And, and they're 1-5 straight up and against the spread the last six years, the visitor in this series. Stanford Stadium is going to be rocking this Saturday night uh, for their Pac-12 Pac opener. And I just see the Stanford Cardinals keeping their national championship uh, aspirations alive here with a win handily over an Arizona State Sun Devil team that has no business being 2-0. Right. Last but not least, and this is a bit of a weird one because I don't normally lay this kind of lumber, but you've got the Idaho Vandals against Mike Leach's Washington State Cougars. And the Washington State Cougars are favored by 30 points in this game. That's right, by 30 points. And? Well, 
<laughs> Here's what I have to say about this. This is going to be short and sweet. Iowa, the Idaho Vandals, okay, are a horde road team going 0-11 against the spread in their last 11 games at home. I mean, excuse me, in their last 11 games on the road. And 10 of those losses are by 30 points or more. Enough wow. said, I say. Washington State's strength is passing. Idaho's weakness is pass defense. Take Mike Leach's Washington State Cougars, minus 30, okay? Lay the lumber here, okay? Suddenly it doesn't seem like such a big number. When I Idaho loses pretty much all their road games by 30 or more, I'd lay the 30 with a very good ball club. They beat USC this year, Washington State. They're on a mission. I like the Washington State. Right. I like the Washington State Cougars, minus 30. This one's a complete blowout, guys. Maybe a 40 <laughs> to 50 point win. Wow. So there's my three selections for this Okay, week. so my, I think bold picks, but Uncle Ben knows what he's doing. He doesn't just make this stuff up at the top of his head. Uncle Ben does some digging, and he's providing some fabulous information for you. So again, to reiterate, his top or his three NF NCAA picks, I don't want to say top because he has some others, and you can get them on his website at unclebensfootball.com. But for here on this program, at Talking NFL, at Talking Dot Sports, he's picking over 73 Louisiana, Monroe, and Baylor. And he said that's because these two teams score more than Brad Pitt at uh, Women's Prison. Women's Prison. And by the way, and that, that's and a lot of scoring. <laughs> and then he's got Stanford laying the points over Arizona State. How many points are you laying? Uh, we lay seven there, uh, Marty. All right, seven points over Arizona State. And Ben's final pick for you today here on Talking Football is Washington State minus all 30 of those points. That's a lot of points. It is a lot of points. Lay them all over Lay Idaho up. who stink on the road. Washington Ooh. State minus 30 over Idaho. That's correct, sir. Lay it and play it. All right. Lay it and play it. Folks, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, we, this is our first uh, effort at uh, Talking Football. Uh, we are really happy to have Uncle Ben from UncleBensFootball.com joining us. Handsome Howard Kamen, of course, is a mainstay feature on the NFL as well. And I'm Marty York saying, have a good weekend, lots of luck in your selections, and we will see you here next week. Bye-bye.